Being able to integrate maps are important for various types of applications like delivery applications, applications like Uber. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to integrate Google Maps in our Flutter application. Hello, welcome to React Bits, where you are prepared to become a better programmer. Here, I have created a new Flutter project with the demo app that is the counter app. So let me just get rid of all of this demo. Let me name this Flutter Google Maps and let me remove all of these comments and let me remove this home page altogether because we are going to create a new home page. Let's change this. So let's make this home page. Google Maps. Okay. Now, the first thing we need to do is add the dependency for Google Maps plugin. And in this tutorial, we are going to learn to use the official Google Maps plugin by Flutter team. So it's named Google Maps Flutter and to install this what we need to do is we need to copy this line into our povspec.aml file okay in the under dependencies Google Maps okay and this should run Flutter pop get if not then you can press this icon here to get the packages once that is done, we can now use the plugin. So let's see in the readme what we need to do. So right now I'm going to show you how to do it in Android and you can follow this tutorial or readme to do it in your iOS application as well. So to use this first add it as dependency in your povspec.aml file. We have completed this step then Getting started, we need to get an API key. So we need to get an API key and add it in our Android manifest. Okay. So in below application tag, let me show you where to put this. So let's go to Android manifest inside the main folder. We want to use this one. Okay. And inside application right below this, you can pass this. And in place of your API key, you need to paste your API key here. I'll be pasting this, but I'll not be showing you my API key. You need to generate your own API key. So one thing to remember is that uh, by the latest Google policy, you need to activate billing in order to generate Google Maps API key in order to be able to use Google Maps in your application. That doesn't mean you need to pay. You just need to activate because you are still entitled to free tire and you don't have to pay anything unless you exceed the free limit. So just activate the billing in order to get your map key. All right. I have now added my API key. So let's go a little bit further and get to the sample usage phase. Okay. How to do this? Let's see this stateful widget. So let's just first copy and paste this okay let's just copy and paste the sample code first instead of this um, let me just rename this map sample as home page okay. and let's just import all of these things completer is let's import google maps controller and completer is from data sync so let's import data sync so what we need to do is we need to rebuild again because we have added the native plugin dependency so let's exit and rebuild again it should take some time i'll come back to you when it's done all right the application is successfully running and you can see the Google Maps with a button go to the lake. So if we press this, the map zooms in to the lake. 
and shows a clear picture okay uh, for now let us remove these functions and everything let's remove this floating action button okay. so initial position is googleplex that's okay for now so let's do hot restart now first thing we can change is map type so let's place a button what we want to do is let us wrap this widget with stack stack let's do hot restart okay and in the stack let us create one button let's make a floating action button on pressed here we'll change the map type child is let's just give it a map child and let's wrap this inside safe area let's say let's align this mm, wrap with new wizard align alignment bottom right okay so that's that let me format this document and first let us create a variable here map type type is equal to and let's create in it state so here we want to do is type is equal to map type dot let's say hybrid in the beginning and instead of this map type we'll use type and in this what we'll do is on pressed So here we'll change the map type. So type equals to, let us first check type. If type equals to map type dot hybrid, then new type will be map type dot normal. Otherwise map type dot hybrid. So this should toggle, this button should toggle between map type hybrid and map type normal. Okay normal map type hybrid map type easy as that and next important feature that most of the time we would use is markers adding a marker being able to get location from marker so let's initialize a list list of marker empty let's initialize it in the unity state as empty list okay now and inside google map we can provide markers as markers is this a list of markers a ah, set of markers sorry it's a set set from a list okay so initially there is no marker what we like to do is when we tap somewhere in the map we'd like to add a marker so let's see how to do that so on tap so on tap what we'll get is lat long position so it will be we get a position where it is tap and here we'd like to create a marker marker id will be 
marker ID, let's say one. Okay. And position will be position. So what is the position? It's a lat long. So this is also lat long. Here, comma. So let's just leave everything else as default. And in set state, what we like to do is markers dot add mk1. Okay. So let's press it here. Let's tap here. Okay, it's not working. Let's just hot restart. Let's switch it here. Okay, so now it works. So by pressing anywhere, we can place a marker and we are using the same marker ID every time. So whenever we press at the next place, it will just move that marker to that place. Okay. Next thing we use often is zoom in and zoom out feature. So let us wrap this floating accent button inside a row, wrap with a row and let's add another floating accent button. I can zoom in. Okay. On pressed. We'll do that in a second. Let's copy this. Zoom out map. Let's just use zoom out. On pressed. Okay. So this should be an a async function because we want to use a map controller which is initialized using completer so await controller dot future this will give us the map controller then so dot animate camera camera update dot zoom in okay and in zoom out again await future dot animate camera zoom out okay now let us check this function zoom in see zoom in zoom out zoom out tap to get a location finally most of the time like for delivery application what we would like to do is whenever a user places a marker we want to get the position or latitude and longitude of that marker so finally let us add one more button extended location level my position on trust on trust Just hot restart. Okay. Change the map type. I'd like the normal map type better. And add a position. So whenever I click this, I'd like to get the position of this marker. That we can do simply by. So we know there is only one marker. If markers dot length is less than one then mm, 
no marker added otherwise markers zero dot Markers dot dot first dot position. So we can print the first markers position. So let me place this here and do my position. So we get the latitude and longitude this way you can get the users latitude and longitude when they place a marker on the map thank you everyone for watching this tutorial for more awesome stuff hit the subscribe button and bell button thank you